video I'm going to show you how to make a laser engraved coaster uh, using uh, slate coasters which are quite cheaply available and the laser pecker 2 laser engraver so first thing we have to do is make sure that the height of the unit in relation to the object to be engraved is 11 centimeters so you just use the ruler double check if i need to adjust the height i'll just use the buttons here one press uh, moves it one millimeter increments uh, if i press longer then it will uh, automatically run up and down i've already got my artwork loaded in the laser pecker app and you can see i've got the settings at 1K resolution and 80 by 80 millimeters. If I click on start preview and hit yes, this now uh, puts up a, a laser marker so I can align the slate. So I've already got this slate centered. So go back to the app. Click on Quit Preview, click on Next, and then transfer the image to the uh, laser engraver. As I'm working with Slate, I've got the settings set at Custom, Power 100%, Depth, 5% and one pass. So now just hit start. See the countdown, then click confirm. Hit yes. And it will now start to engrave the image onto the slate. Now here I'm using a uh, accessory from laser pecker which is the um, shield that is placed around here as it makes it easier for videoing uh, this is an additional item from laser pecker that doesn't come direct with the machine the machine as standard you get this hood and that hood is set so top to the bottom it automatically sets it to the 11 centimeter depth. So here you can see it's in the process of engraving and on the app it uh, shows us our progress. So we'll let this continue. So this will take about four minutes for this type of image in this resolution um, it is very dependent on the type of image that you use the material that you engrave in etc to uh, how long it takes to actually engrave the image onto your object if you're creating your own artwork and you want to put it into the laser pecker app it's important that you work at about uh, 10 times larger than what you're trying to uh, print. So if you're working on a um, 80 by 80 millimeter uh, final image, the image that you will be working with on your artwork needs to be 800 by 800 millimeters. If you uh, don't do this, when you transfer it to the app, uh, the image will be badly pixelated. So, if you show it down the side through the uh, laser protected screen, you can see it quite clearly on how well that's engraving. As we are engraving with materials, it's important to be working in a well ventilated area. 
So you either want to have a local source extraction or be working uh, in an area where you've got uh, good ventilation. As you, you don't want to be uh, breathing the fumes and dust that are coming off the item that's being engraved. Here we're working with slate, which is a matte material, so we don't really need to do much uh, pre-processing of the material itself. If we're working with a material such as uh, marble, then we would need to uh, coat the material uh, using a black chalk marker first, so it, it, it's no longer a reflective material to be able to uh, then laser engrave. Different materials need uh, different uh, items to uh, prep the material prior to laser engraving. The laser pecker itself does not come with uh, much in the line of instructions on optimum settings. So this is very much by uh, trial and error. So if you are buying one of these machines, I recommend that you buy the cheapest materials that you can get hold of to do trials. So, so like, uh, getting slates from Poundland or shops like that. So good to be able to do initial trials without uh, costing you a large amounts of money. And here we have the finished product. I hope you found this video useful.